Good Saturday morning, y'all. Welcome to Saturday Thing 29. Uh, last week's winner, movie maker wannabe, donated her uh, winning winnings to, to me. She said, uh, buy myself something pretty. <laughs> so uh, what I did was, uh, and they're in the dishwasher right now or else I'd show you. I bought a new set of uh, matching kitchen utensils, ladle, uh, big spoon, a spatula, and uh, my wife and I were just discussing where I'm going to put them. I'm going to hang them. I'm going to get a magnet strip for the, I'll show you. For right here, I'm going to put a magnet strip up here and hang them up here. And uh, it's that close to the stove. So thank you, movie maker wannabe. I appreciate that very much. So let's uh, let's see what this week's winner is going to be. Seventy six comments. Oh, Stead Homer, I know you. You just built a big, beautiful building, and uh, I followed that. So, uh, Stead Homer, contact me at bctruck at gmail.com. Let me know if you want a skillet, a knife, a flashlight, or if there's anything else in the $35, $40 range that you would like, uh, I'd be happy to get it sent to you. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'm going to put a couple of clips at the end of this that uh, that we've uh, we've had an interesting week. Uh, you'll see. Thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good weekend. We uh, we've both noticed how number one how quiet it is in here, and number two how uh, the temperature stays level <laughs> for so long. And we just uh, did a little experiment. It's 32 degrees outside. And uh, it took one hour for the temperature in here to drop one degree. That's, uh, I'm really impressed with the, with the, how well insulated it is. And uh, we finally got, I don't know if you can see the seam. It's kind of dark in here. But the seam where they put the two halves together is right here. And they did a fantastic job on the ceiling. You'd never know. Uh, right here, there was a seam down in between the two doors. And they did a great job there. Uh, right at the corner of the kitchen was a seam. And the sheet rocker, did, they did such a nice job that I called the company uh, that sells these mobile homes. And I told them how completely impressed I was with a guy who did this job. He uh, put a lot of effort into making the ceiling all look the same. You'd never know it was a mobile home, but there's just nothing you can do about that seam. It's, it's, uh, and I, the guy that came here to put the, to work on, to put the vinyl over the seam, he said the same thing that, you know, it's the only thing in the whole mobile home that gives it away that it's a mobile home. And uh, nobody has come up with a better way. Now, if you have carpet in here, they just stretch the carpet over and, you know, it all looks like the same floor. But if you have vinyl like we do, there's uh, just no getting around it that there's going to be a seam in the floor. But we're really happy with uh, how quiet it is in here and how, ex you know, my house over in Louisiana, I had... Uh, a foot of insulation blown in on top of the insulation that was in between the rafters. And, uh, you know, the walls had insulation <clears throat> and I had double insulated windows that I put in. And uh, I thought we were pretty good. We had low bills, uh, monthly bills were in the hundreds, you know, 150, 120. Uh, I think we're gonna have some uh, similar light bills here. We're all electric. I think Swefco over here, though, is higher than Entergy. Yeah, definitely. We're on uh, Entergy over in Louisiana, and we're on Swepco here. And uh, power is more expensive over here. I do not know why. Okay, just uh, 
we're done. They're done with the mobile home. Done, done, done. Everything's done. And uh, now it's just a matter of moving in. Uh, on the 28th, I sign the papers uh, for selling my old house. And then I take that money and pay this house off. And uh, that's it. That's the story. The, the mobile home story is done. We're moved in and living here and uh, drinking coffee. Hey, you want to see what I'm wearing underneath this blanket? You want to see? <laughs> I'm showing people what I'm wearing underneath my blanket. Well, I have, still haven't One dog. Thing in this house. We were gone all Two dogs. Day yesterday. Three all dogs. Day. Okay, it's a home now. <laughs> All my guns are here. It's a home now. Now I gotta get my, my gun safe and my two ammo safes over here. And uh, we'll be good to go. It's been a very hard day today. Beautiful end of a day to a very sad day. Miss Pat passed away this morning. joyous day a very uh, a celebration yep she got, got to go home she got to go home and she passed away in her sleep we should all hope to pass away that peacefully and that quiet and she passed away in her sleep fancy those are some fancy caskets right there I just want to say this, this, it isn't anymore, but this used to be the home of the worst job I ever had in my entire life. I worked there about three months and that was uh, 89 days too long. And the name of that company was Southern Gulf Transportation. And if there's any old truckers in uh, the Shreveport, Bossier area, that remember that company southern gulf off of north market way up off of highway 171 split uh speak up because uh yeah i have uh lots of memories about that place it was three months of the worst job i ever had ever to this day do you remember this grill i made oh three maybe four christmases ago this is what i made for bed for christmas a few years ago still Still kicking. It could use a little varnish on the, the wood, but uh, not bad for something that's been exposed to weather this long. Still looking pretty good. Still cook steaks. <laughs> that's me. That's my W900. That's Jimmy. That's his Freightliner Classic XL. And that's Ricky. And that's his uh, 379 Pete. The Three Musketeers. <laughs>